this is biotechnica and you're listening to india's first life science podcast the voice of biotechnica today a society is obsessed with good looks fair skin and lean figure and living in such a hyper aesthetic society is harming our overall well-being there are chances that you all might have heard of botox the seemingly miraculous treatment for wrinkles and fine lines thus defying aging but whether it should be considered a beauty or a beast let's find it out hello all myself dr violet and today i will discuss about botox what it is what it is used for how it works and how long it lasts the name botox is derived from the word botulus which means sausage why it's said to be sausage because this substance is related to a naturally occurring poison which is found at harmful levels in bad meat products high levels of this poison further can lead to paralysis and even death botulinum is the poisonous substance found in nature and secreted by the soil bacterium clostridium botulinum it grows under anaerobic conditions and has a lethal reputation as a food contaminant especially in improperly canned or preserved foods botulinum toxin a is known with the more popular name botox by its manufacturer botox is actually the trade name for the chemical injected into the skin which has the ability to inhibit muscle movement prevent wrinkles from developing or worsening injecting botulinum toxin a in the human body can also lead to convulsions respiratory system disorders and severe paralysis however this paralyzing property of botulinum toxin a was first used in the 1970s by clinicians to treat strabismus Since then it has been increasingly used for the treatment of blepharospasm that is uncontrolled contractions of the eyelid muscles and certain types of spasticity in children one of its recent use is for treating overactive bladder that is unresponsive to other remedies so it feels botulinum toxin a has all the potential benefits for humans and its usage seems to be harmless but are you ready to accept this fact that a poisonous substance derived from a bacterium really be full of so much goodness well despite its advantages botulinum toxin a is in use for not so good reasons there is something called botox clinics where an exclusively growing number of elite customers are having unsightly facial wrinkles and furrows removed medically which is termed as muscle denervation normally a nerve sends a signal for the muscle contraction when the signal reaches the neuromuscular junction a neurotransmitter acetylcholine is released from the nerve end of the junction acetylcholine then binds to the receptors on the muscle causing more chemical reactions that make the muscle contract botox functions by blocking the acetylcholine receptors on the muscle thus when a nerve sends a signal for muscle contraction acetylcholine is released as before but it cannot bind anywhere on the muscle as a result the muscle does not contract and becomes paralyzed This acetylcholine blockage is an irreversible phenomenon that begins within 48 hours of injecting botulinum toxin A. The clinical effects of botox injection are noticeable between 5 to 10 days. However, over 3 to 5 months, the muscle gradually develops new receptor sites and is able to contract again. Interestingly, Not only in humans botox has also been used on camels which was used for a beauty contest during the King Abdul Aziz camel festival in Saudi Arabia as reported by the National which is a newspaper based in Abu Dhabi 
United Arab Emirates. Botox provides batty eyelashes, pouty lips, and perfectly placed humps. Though not all camels are blessed with such good looks, Botox has also found use in dentistry. 7% to 8% of dentists in North America are now providing Botox treatment to patients for cosmetic treatment. It is used as an adjunct in temporomandibular joint and bruxism cases. Even more so for patients with moderate chronic temporomandibular joint and facial pain. Botox is usually used in conjunction with dermofiller therapy as a non-surgical alternative to high lip line cases. It gives periodontal flap surgery with significant osseous reduction through a crown lengthening procedure in order to be able to raise the gingival height to meet the lip line. There has been a 40.6% increase in procedures and a 5.1% rise in the popularity of Botox in the US as put forth by the American Society for Aesthetic Plastic Surgery. US Food and Drug Administration FDA approved the use of Botox in 1989 for treatment of blepharospasm and other eye muscle problems. In 2002, the FDA approved the use of Botox for treatment to alter the frown lines between the eyebrows. Botox use was approved by the FDA in 2013 so as to treat the wrinkles around the corners of the eyes. Further, in 2016 clinical study, Botox was considered as a simple and effective treatment for reduction of forehead wrinkles. In 2016, over 4.5 million procedures were performed using Botox which is the number one non-surgical cosmetic procedure in the United States and similar medication to fight wrinkles. What do cosmetic Botox injections do? It works by blocking the nerve signals to certain muscles. By blocking the release of neurotransmitters, as a result, the muscles become more relaxed. This diminishes the appearance of lines and wrinkles on the skin. This effect lasts for only 4 to 6 months. This means one needs top ups a few times a year if you wish to maintain your line free look. Botox is a relatively safe treatment, but only when it is undertaken by a qualified medical professional to ensure that one gets the correct amount in the right area. Visiting someone who is inexperienced or not qualified enough could lead to asymmetrical results such as muscle drooping, frozen expressions as well as various other dangerous consequences. Now what happens if one stops the Botox top ups? The answer is the lines will come back. If one decides to discontinue with the Botox injections, the muscles in the treated area will begin to function normally again and the aging process will too. The National Institutes of Health NIH, has listed few risks associated with Botox administration. These include flu-like symptoms which might include a headache for the first 24 hours after treatment, wounds at the injection site, temporary weakness and drooping of facial muscles and features. For example, eyelids or eyebrows may droop temporarily if the injected medicine moves into these areas. Body develops a resistance to the treatment if it's repeated too frequently. Serious problems which include blurred vision or trouble breathing can also develop depending on which area you have had Botox in. Rare side effects can include difficulty in swallowing, speaking and breathing. Though if it is carried out correctly, side effects are generally minimal and some may not experience any at all. Though Botox enhances one's beauty, but it can turn into a beast as it comes with its own harmful effects. A study reported by Scientific Reports in 2017 
reported that the intramuscular administration of botulinum toxin A inhibits the release of acetylcholine at the neuromuscular junction from presynaptic motor neurons causing muscle paralysis. The study revealed that high dose intramuscular botulinum toxin A injections cause microstructural damage of the muscle tissue which contributes to impaired gait. Moreover, there are fewer studies investigating the cosmetic uses of botulinum toxin A specifically in the elderly. The elderly have thinner and less elastic skin, weaker facial muscles and wrinkles that are caused more by gravity induced tissue sagging rather than muscle contraction. Therefore, the elderly are not expected to respond as well to botulinum toxin A treatment. Though it may help in softening the wrinkles that are noticeable even without muscle contraction. But additional resurfacing procedures will be required for noticeable differences in the appearance of the wrinkle. The site of injection is also to be considered in the elderly. Like for treatment of forehead lines, it would require injections to the frontalis muscle which is used by many older people to raise their eyebrows and eyelids for sight. Bad Botox or overdone Botox is again a great concern these days. How to tackle it? This happens when you went into the wrong hands. One should only go to a board certified plastic surgeon, facial plastic surgeon or dermatologist. What if you went for too good of a deal? One should be wary of the advertised discounts because they probably aren't legit. The practitioner might not be using branded products. The doctors have a pre-designed template which is not applicable for all. For instance, the template works for some but it freezes or paralyzes the muscles and overlooks an individual's unique features or muscle patterns making the patient look frozen. Bad Botox can make you look unnatural at rest or while moving. So it's necessary to retain the natural movement of brow elevation when one is raising the brow and normal cheek elevation when smiling. These are miserable things that can happen due to incorrect or overdosage of neuromodulators. These are not permanent but debilitating while you have them. The other shortcomings of Botox is that it only lasts for 3 to 6 months and yet what is not disclosed is facial muscles start to become naturally weak and flat over time and this could lead to unwanted consequences. The skin can become thin and loose. Moreover, as once muscles becomes weak, it starts to recruit surrounding muscles when one makes facial expressions. If one stops the use of their forehead muscles, it can start to squint using their nose and have wrinkles along the side of their nose. As a result, one may need more Botox for the newly recruited muscles. The cost is also very high. The average cost of a botulinum toxin treatment such as Botox Cosmetic was $376 in 2016. Though the cost may vary depending on the decided number of injections, the treatment area and the geographic location where you receive the treatment. However, today the cost of Botox has reached to $500. So the important question is, should Botox be used? It makes us wonder why and to what extent are we ready to push ourselves to alter our physical appearance to yield to societal pressures. Despite knowing the serious after effects of Botox usage, why are we still searching for the fountain of youth? By using Botox, why are we trying to maintain the pretty pressure? I believe one should be comfortable in one's own skin. To quote, beauty is skin deep, so it's more important to be healthy than to go under the knife. So what's your take on it? Do share your views. Thank you for listening and stay tuned for more interesting discussions on Voice of Biotechnica.